Yeah, and we definitely got a few puzzles here to solve. Um, we got to give this vending machine a knock. We can apparently get a instant Swedish person mix or something. We got a laser pointer from here. This fly, like this fly, will just not fuck off. It has been here for, yeah, however long we've been going for, like a good hour. It's too high up. I can't reach it. If only I was a noodle hand mutant. Yeah, it's probably something else I could use. Hmm. Okay. I wouldn't mind being a noodle hand mutant though. That'd be fun. Alright. Oh no, we're not back at the... Yeah, alright. Can we grab this head? Actually, it's not a real head, it is. It's some sort of animatronic. I truly worked hard for that spot. And the company irresponsibly spent money to make this animatronic. Oh, it is animatronic. Head. Okay. I'll leave it be. Right, can we take the sugar though? I have a feeling we're gonna need the sugar. I don't really need any sugar right now. I'll keep you posted if I do. Maybe start a bake sale. Okay. Raise enough money to buy. Yes, I remember my car. mission to get sandals in the face roll crew in the monster. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm disappointed the face roll crew didn't get in the monster hunter. They seem to get like. They talk big okay. about playing games, I but I think they got a little so filtered by um, to Monster by Hunter. The, um, because I was trying to do the same thing with them for um, Deep Rock as well. But yeah, also got filtered. Oh, I kind of want that emergency gun as well. Can I grab that? When there is an emergency, I'll take it. Or it's time. Yeah, okay. No, we did that. Um, doesn't look like we can really. Break this with the Three arm. Limbs for everyone. No, wait. I need these. Okay. All right. So I can't do anything there. I'll try out some of these new areas, I guess. Oh, hang on. We got fast travel, don't we? Um. Yeah, here we go. Elevator. Excellent. Good old fast travel. That's what most old point-and-click adventure games needed. Bit of fast travel. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you actually bought them copies of World. I forgot about that. You want to take a shot at the code anchor? What do you reckon it is? Is it saying, yeah, scientists are hot, but maintenance men are ten times hotter. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to translate that into this, but we'll, I'm sure we'll figure it out. So, going to go to, while you're, while you're thinking of it, I'll um, go to the head mart and have a look. Um, hang on, activate. Lab button once, maintenance button ten times. Hey, okay. Looks like the scientist kid over there. Oh, oh, this is Wait new. Wait a second, don't. Oh, they got rid of that scientist from before. Okay. Ah, can't need can't that even head. get head, literally. <laughs> what is my life? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll give that a go with the um the maintenance code first. Um. All right, use the elevator panel. Troubleshooting mode activated. Please input security code button sequence now. Press again to exit troubleshoot mode. Okay. I think it's time to put in that code. Once on labs, you know, and then ten on maintenance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy shit! You got it, mate. Well done. Not to make it worse. Okay, um. Oh, what's, what's that a noise come? Man. I'm a maintenance man. Maintenance man. Maintenance man. You fucking genius, mate. Well done, you. We got the arm. And I'm also eager to know what was in this glory hole, though. Can we check that out? No. Okay. Well, that's alright. Oh, hang on. I gotta use the controls. Bloody hell, mate. It's fucking pretty good. Alright. Um, so we'll go get some head, I suppose. Alright, we got the little drone going around. Yeah, no, it was a good guess. Because I was thinking, like, yeah, just starting off with numbers. But it's like, how do you punch in the numbers? But yeah, no, you, you figured it out. Um, 
A floating hot dog. Has science gone too far? Yeah, not far enough to be honest. Doesn't even have onions. <laughs> you can't have hot dogs without onions. Yeah, this is true. Onions are pretty good. Hello, sin against nature. <laughs> A floating donut, though. If there is anything in this world that should be preserved, it's donuts. We can't risk losing years of donut making progress. Okay. Um. Oh, can I have a shopping bag? I'm sure Stealing eco-friendly bags is like taking Mother Nature on a first date <laughs> and then never calling her. Fair enough. All right, let's see what's on this terminal, I guess. Hmm. It has a password. Time to hack this bad boy. Holy crap! <laughs> hacker paradigm. God, I haven't seen Kung Fury for a fucking good long while. This is a good little short. Logan details were admin. Oh. admin. <laughs> Thank you, IT <laughs> oh, I knew that was winding up to something good. Yep. Floating head registry. Okay. About. Here at Headmart, we pride ourselves on quality. Originally a head preservation service, we changed our business model due to the financial crisis of 2022. Well, that's prophetic. We're sort of looking at that, aren't we, for next year? Um, now we provided floating heads as pets, decoration, a coffee table edition, or simply a conversation started to kickstart any dinner party. Daily special, Siamese fighting heads, 50% off it, with included tank cleaner. The amount of times IT guys actually leave it as admin, admin is too damn high. This is true. I always went with, um, what the old 90s movie, Hackers. All, um, IT guys, main password was God, because they all had a fucking God complex. Um... No, we read that one. We customize a head? Oh, okay, okay. I'm guessing we put together the head we saw earlier and it'll go and grab that specific head for us. <laughs> i got to make something funny first, though. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just titty eyes. That's awesome. All right, poof head, titty eyes. What do we got for a good mouth? <laughs> the boobies. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dog. <laughs> Poop. Diddy dog head. Yep. <laughs> um. I'm trying to remember what the head actually looked like. It's a. Oh, I was like Simpsons burping mouth, I guess. It's. <laughs> nah. It's 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 pixels, dude. I don't think they worry too much about that. Smoking. <laughs> Just the, the cavernous mouth of teeth, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of mouths, though. Alright, um. Oh, <laughs> Just the little baby legs in the chin. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, I gotta actually remember what the real head looked like. Um. Yeah, it was that sort of hair. Um. Can't remember what the eyes looked like though. We might even get close. I'm not not sure. Um, sort of that. <laughs> the knife in the mouth. No, he had glasses, didn't he? Yeah, we'll go glasses. And is that the? Oh, that's the little poo brain tongue from um, Adventure Time when Ice King dresses up as the horse. That's right. Uh. Do you have, like, sunglasses or nerdy glasses? Oh, there's a few glasses here. Okay. Um, I'll probably have to have a good look at that head again, unfortunately. Now, I have the little... The cavernous maw with the teeth reminds me of one of my exes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and we've officially run out of mouths, apparently. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember what the mouth was like. Maybe that. Um. Oh. 
136 heads in stock. Trentius Radis only knows two sentences. Got any spare ciggies, mate? Got a dollar for the train, man. Oh. <laughs> okay, so for Anchor, this is actually making fun of the, um, like the poor guy you see at the, um, the train station. He's down on his luck and needs a ciggy or some change. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. Basically a bogan. Um, everything about this head is gold. Oh, no, no, no. If, don't feel sorry for them, dude. They're the scum of the earth. <laughs> Most of them are. Um, oh, can we not even... Oh, is the head's just here. Can we have this head? No Wi-Fi signal? Please contact IT immediately. Oh, okay. In Sydney, if you get asked for ciggies, usually you're about to get mugged. Yeah, yeah. They're usually a bit pissed off if you say no. That's for sure. All right, so we apparently need to get to IT support to get that fixed up to get the head. Okay. We at least know the head's in there. That's good. Was that Tina from Bob's Burgers? We'll go... We'll have another look through the heads when we come back here. I just want to check out the um, other areas. Lobby. Oh, no, yeah, because the, the scientist's head was kind of like Tina's, wasn't it? Go to the lobby. Uh, all right oh okay the hell bobblehead shrine you remember the lance from the lobby i remember secret yeah because they were talking to secretary night before i just want to have a quick look around oh breadsticks the nut says Help yourself to the breadsticks. Wonder if you can use it for the leg. The yeah, it could do. Unlike our competitors, oh no, we could use it to grab the leg down. Yeah, that's a good idea. Which serves barf sticks. I guess we really gotta chat up the um the lance knight. Based food. Hmm. Uh, oh, another audio tape. Hang on. Nice. I can use this with my dupagin. Right now, I gotta listen to this because this was comedy gold. The last one was belly slapping. Oh, it's live. Thank you. Belly slapping unplugged. Cool. Yeah, it could just fight land, uh, monster hunters, monsters with the lance. That is one pink sounding belly. Oh, he's going full solo. Nice. That lance needs more gun, you reckon? Yeah, yep. That is a lot of slapping. <laughs> All right, no, I'm loving the like the little extra things we can find around here. Um, speaking of which, there's another dip organizer. Uh, Michelle S, occupation CEO, prodigy children, more like waste of money, failure children. Though I wish I could legally abandon without any legal repercussions. I ordered a world-class banker that's supposed to have been on the cover of Baller Bankers magazine, but then at age 12 decided to be an artist. I paid extra for academic failure insurance, even shitty personality insurance. My 51 lawyers will rain down legal pain. Night Twister. Merry belated Christmas to you too, man. I'm doing good. We're playing some uh, Paradigm with the rest of the gang here. Um, yeah, I'm intrigued by this bobblehead. Let's have a look at him. Billy was Dupa Genetics maintenance man for many faithful years. His personal hygiene was terrible. The facility's hygiene was acceptable. <laughs> Until he was sadly taken away from us. 4-6-2026. It was take your pet to work day. And Artyom, a former employee, brought in his bear. Which took countless employees' lives. Yep, bears normally do that. Including everyone's favorite... Really? Due to HR cutbacks, we present to you this bobblehead of Billy to forever honor his life here at Dupa Genetics. Oh. On a side note, Artyom's bear now works <laughs> in upper management. Signed, Dupa Genetics CEO Ulov. Right. Oh, it even like bubbles when you press the button. Yeah, that's hey, pretty cool. Neat. I want one. Yeah, can we. What's Sorry, the... Billy. My oh, we can take the head. You probably shouldn't take that. I'm paid well, but not well enough to stop you physically. You're not very good at your job, are you? Uh, do you want to steal that or not? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> All right, we got a head then. That's helpful. 
Um, just go look at the observation deck. I don't know where we, where Dupin wow. Genetics is located. This is amazing. Some sci-fi fanboys arguing about which sci-fi property is best. It's like a live feed rendition of an online comment section. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll, get, we'll go. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go pick up Secretary Knight, I guess. I prefer to do this joke only when there is no chance of me being killed by a seven foot knight. <laughs> that's yeah, there's some very meta commentary. Like, yeah, case in point, the um the neck beard we saw earlier. And yes, we definitely got some head. Alright, let's see if we can get some more head. Good this is a sexy ass night. To Olaf's waiting room. How may I help you? Um Yeah. Okay. Is Olaf a good guy? I know he pays on time. That's all that matters. I try to block out the whole turning the world's entertainment into just glam metal and wrestling thing. And that weird vomiting candy thing he does. Well, don't remember him vomiting candy, but anyway. Why the plate mail? <clears throat> I used to be a knight, you see. Saving princesses, slaying dragons and such. You know how it is, lad. Cool. Why did you quit? But turns out, as a secretary, I get paid twice as much and get a company horse, Ooh. among other benefits, all without touching a sword and occasionally flirting with the boss. <laughs> now, lad, which would you choose? Uh, uh to be a horse? <laughs> Sorry, uh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Damn it, laddie. Okay. Um. Can you help me defeat the mythical beast? Texas. Yes, funny you ask, actually. I'm a freelance accountant. Email me at dragonsucks at gmail.com and I'll sort you out. Oh, sweet. Get our taxes sorted, too. Can you possibly help me defeat Olaf? Sorry, I used to do the whole defeating evil thing, but, you know, times change. I have a family and everything. My son, little Joey, is a level five <laughs> paladin now. <laughs> He murdered his first witch just last week. Oh, oh they grow up so quick. So fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you ever miss being a knight? Not really. Lots of drama. You'd be surprised how much knights gossip. There was once a rumor going around that I was two dogs in plate mail. It turns out the guy who started the rumor was, in fact, <laughs> two dogs in plate mail. <laughs> I'd like to talk to the sloth. All right, lad. What's your name? Paradigm. Wait. Uh, that was dumb. Ah, yes, you're right here. You're not scheduled for autopsy till tomorrow. Sorry, you'll have to wait until then. Aww. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Do I get a bowl of ice cream after? Well, you'll be pickled and jarred after the procedure, for future reference. But I think I can arrange that. Just make sure to leave a good review on ratemysecretary.com. <laughs> I need to go save some damsels in Budapest. Don't you mean distress? I think I know a little bit more about knighting than you. Yeah, <laughs> Des Vault Infidel. Um, I guess we can... If, well, if he's done with adventuring, I guess he doesn't need his lance. Hey, uh, do you mind if I take this? Frankly, I don't do much lancing these days. Oh, yes. It's enchanted, too. His name is Larry Lancey. <laughs> Just ask him nicely and you can summon or unsummon him. Larry Lancey, keen to ride with me? Yes, let us unite and bring pain <laughs> and suffering to our enemies. And then drink some cold brewskis over their corpses. Chad Lance, I like it. Nice. Do we need the shield for anything though? Can I have this? The shield stays. I use it as a trendy plate for my cheese platters. Ah, oh, that's a good use for it. Oh, okay. Um, dragon head though. Impressive trophy. Eh, I bought it from a Trajoski Mart. They didn't have the color I wanted, but I made a compromise. Larry That's sounds like a YouTuber, you reckon? His color just doesn't represent yeah, me could be as that. a person. Oh know. god, I know, um, River City Girls went nuts with the bloody, um, YouTuber voices. Yes. Actually put me off the game, because one of the main characters was, um, Jacksepticeye, who I can't stand. people wouldn't recommend. Loved yeah. it. Like, seems like an okay guy, but isn't. Whoa! Sure, what day was expected. Sorry, that was unexpected. Oh, damn it, you're an idiot. I'm only doing this for you once. Yeah, and not a fan of Jack's actor guy. Okay, that was random. Ooh, singing plants, though. 
Ooh, I like those plants. Yeah? I planted them too. They're singing plants from my hometown. Just use them and then hover your mouse over them. I mean, oh. uh, point at them. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> this one sounds a bit crook, actually. Okay. Deactivate that singing. Right, we got some more limbs to find, I think. This was a fun little area, though. Alright. I'm a little, still a little disappointed there's no um hotspot for that glory hole, though. Um, yeah, let's go to the church, I guess. Oh, I keep forgetting I gotta press the activate button. Right. Go have a look-see. Church of Latter-day Glam. Okay. Yeah, interesting sort of setup. Yeah. I mean, if you're obsessed with... Oh, there's a leg we're likely going to need. Uh, info station. They all they all have, the, like, the leopard pants, don't they? Oh, there's some space dust. Offerings. Oh, I guess we have to leave an offering. Or maybe get rid of this chick and take the rest of it. Can we at least have this audio tape? Oh. No, give me the tape. I want the tape. Kind of want to hear what's in the um. Yeah, see if we get some more uh, fat beatsies. Human sounds for whale relaxation. Oh, this is gonna be classic. Yeah, I guess that's what whales are doing to us, isn't it? No, fair enough. Um, oh, I keep forgetting. Click that. All right. Let's look at this lady. She is some sort of uh, glam metal grandma nun. No one makes cocaine like grandma used to. None of this pre-packaged garbage. <laughs> um, all right, let's have a chat. Oh my, you poor soul. I'm so sorry the glam metal gods cursed you with such a head. Have a toffee. Ooh, free toffee. Thanks. You're gonna have to grab it out of my clothes. Ah, oh, no. My hands are busy at the moment. I'm not sure if I want... Just take the damn toffee. Yeah. My hands are super sticky from the toffee. I hate sticky hands. I'd rather be punched in the face and have it over with. Also, attached to the toffee are my digits on a piece of scrap paper. Just ignore that. I'm not hitting on you. I'm not that into the terminally ill. Hmm, very cool. Right. Are you like some sort of nun? Kinda. Except I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Stop. <Anything. laughs> Why are there boobs on the glasses? Playing lawn bowls nude. Oh, there's Max. You oh, there's Clayman. Oh, it's there's Manny. You feel the wind between you. Yeah, yes. Someone's, uh, someone's yes, a LucasArts I, fan. I believe you. Cool. <laughs> Does it get tiring holding your hand up like that? No, no. This is a divine miracle from the hair metal gods. They blessed me with constant metal gesture. Isn't it just called arthritis? <laughs> if you want to die in a fiery marsh pit for all eternity, I keep speaking like that, heathen. Do you know anything about the uh, genetics plan? Sure. We are supposed to become the world's one and only religion. That's My good favorite walk. part Oop. of the integration is Stop watching part of Jack except because walk through on YouTube. Looks amazing and funny. Yeah. No, nah, it's, it's the curse of like super popular YouTubers. They have to like pander to like your lowest common denominator, which is usually stupid kids. And just it just comes off as insufferable to me. Can I have some of your donation money? I like his girlfriend though. Um his girlfriend's um Gab Smolders. Um Oh my, I know she's I mates I could, with the chick who played Quiet in Metal Gear Solid 5 and no um, speaks fluent Please. Japanese. What? So I actually got onto her because she can like translate Japanese on. games on the fly. Ill in a hip -hop sense. I'm not yeah, he's got a really Shush. annoying voice too, Some old Jack. Accept your death. 
Go on a bender, you'll feel much better. Besides, we mostly give money to the homeless. Yeah, like it's I know. Great yeah, PewDiePie was definitely the accessible to all patient zero of the insufferable via the YouTuber. Dot NFO stations. <sighs> and yeah, it sort of ended up. Who else was there? Markiplier. Just pretty much everyone with over like two million subs on YouTube. Just I don't have time for. LGR's okay. He's cracked like 1.5 mil. Can you tell me more about the church? Certainly. It's the Church of the Latter-day Glam. It's just like most religions, except you can pretty much do anything. There is a mm. demand, however, for excess. And this excess has to be rock star like You can't just play a lot of Sudoku and expect to go to glam heaven. Okay. How do I join the church? All you need to do is attend a space dust party for ten With days STD day blessing. and receive ah. an STD blessing. Would you be interested? Is it BYO? Yes. Sorry, I have some uh, VHS tapes to return. <laughs> I don't have time to join any churches. Suit yourself. Yeah, no, he's part of the problem having a rage compilation video too. Are just, you sure you don't want yeah, to give just, me some charity Like I said, money? not a fan. Don't ask again. Look at you. You're about to die. It's against my beliefs. Read the .nfo file on the terminal. Who the hell reads Maybe NFO files? Maybe the gods files. of glam will go easy on you. Yeah, righto. All right. Thank I guess you, we'll go give that a read. For your time. Uh, what's the confessional involve? Not sure what kind of confession you'd give in a glam metal based religion. I didn't wear any eyeliner today. I only did two lines when I should have done five. Hmm. I mean, go confess? Glam metal oh. gods, I have sinned. Oh, just doing I that. I have not worn eyeliner or my jeans from the women's department. Smite me down where I stand. Oh, yeah. Some confessions. Um, no, we gotta talk to this leg, don't we? Kinda eager to see what this leg's about. The scientist's leg has become sentient and gone ahead and joined the cult. Did you really have to do this? Now I have to consider the feelings of a talking leg. Man, I can hear you. You're standing right next to me. Sorry, dude. Mm hmm. Right. I need you to come with me so I can reunite you with your head and upper limbs. To form like Voltron, but with flesh. Not talking robots. Please, leave me alone. Mm. Ever since I became independent and joined the Church of Latter-day Glam, I have newfound independence. Is it uh, really that good? Yes. I got these fabulous boots, my own room, and once I perfect my glam metal scream, they'll give me my glam hair. Hair would be good for that guy. <laughs> that scream needs work, though. It's close, but not quite there. The Messiah says I'm only days away. Please. Yeah, just need something yeah, to cover up the, the next again. stump. Yeah, yeah that, that's a good point. Does he have more boots? Is being a part of a whole body that bad? The head has a foot fetish. <laughs> Got weird, man. Just everything about that just makes me laugh. How are you even speaking? What? You the blood coming out, the ciggies in the headband. What are you, some kind of legsist? Hey, everyone, this guy's a legsist. Shh, dude, I have other leg friends. Come on. Okay. What is your opinion on prosthetic limbs? Faster, stronger, better, but don't have that warm sound, you know? Eh, all the same, I'm hooking up with a Paralympian's leg tonight. Wish me luck. Break a leg. You're a sick man. <laughs> Sorry. It's getting worse. I think I may be fathering a son. My dad jokes are getting so bad. <laughs> Do you ever have rivalries with other body parts? Sometimes. We argue often about how it should be foot shakes, not handshakes. Wouldn't taking your shoes off be really inconvenient? Bah! You and the arms are all the same. When will legs get their heyday in society? Hmm. What will it take to convince you? There are only two things in this world that would convince me. 
a Swedish foot rub, or equal rights for severed limbs everywhere. Mm. Viva la limba lotion. Yes, we'll see what I can do. Get a, a massage. See ya. Got to go well, that's probably we, we, there's an in, instant the Swede thing in that vending machine we saw earlier, so we're probably going to have to get that somehow. Um, oh, did we check the dip organizer? I can't remember. Let's have a look. Uh, Old Man McGee, K, Occupation, CLG, Janitor. The things. The things I've been subjected to in this place of sex, drugs, rock, and complete lack of morals is getting out of hand. I wake up in the middle of the night drenched in sweat at the thought of the amount of bodily fluids I need to clean on a daily basis. How are they all still alive? I've literally met and talked to an STD. No janitor should be subjected to this nightmare. No, that's a fair point. Sentient STD is not fun. Um, oh, we need money to get into the vending machine, though. Um, we'll have to figure out how to get rid of the old duck. Let's have a look at this terminal. I'm loving these little computer bits, though. It's a nice little tribute. Oh, yeah, this is, like, pretty much CGA right here, isn't it? Um, the beginning. On the first day, there was leopard print and smooth ballads. Then Glam God said, let there be copious copulation and gross excess of lifestyle. Cocaine then rained from the skies for 20 days straight, but Nolan Thrustfire's Ark kept two of every type of hot babe slash dude safe, depending on what you're into. <laughs> the Messiah. Glamicus Maximus was first born in 1959, and it is said that when he came out of the womb, his long, luscious hair accounted for 80% of his body weight which needed no product to stay glossy and strong. As our Messiah grew older, he sacrificed his time and money to live in the enlightened life of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Unfortunately, heretics rose to fame, meaning it, nearing the end of the 80s, naming themselves Thrash Metal. Tragically, through Glamicus' sacrifice to show us mere mortals how to live, he destroyed his body through his daily excess. This is when the CEO of Duper Genetics came to save our leader, offering him to be reborn as a god with an invincible body. However, due to the limitations of medicine at the time, his consciousness was transplanted into the body of a pug until he could be transferred into his ultimate form to reign for the next thousand years. The Edict of Excess Enough does not exist, only excess. Respect thy dealer. STDs are biological trophies. The flame that burns twice as fast is twice as metal. Skin tight pants are only pants. Androgyny is a virtue. A healthy liver is no no, no glam liver. Hairspray is the sacred aerosol. To exist is to party. Organic foods are forbidden. Charity donation. Uh, the Church of Latter Day Glam offers many charity and donation services, primarily focusing on providing hairspray and leopard print pants to the less fortunate. However, monetary donations are given to the homeless for the purchase of a glam metal album to begin the converting process. Look for large grey beards, rotten teeth, and a strong smell of alcohol on their person before offering a donation. Also to note, never give money to others who seem like they are on the verge of death. The church's money is much better spent on our compulsory daily coke parties and daily fines. Um, so from what I got from that, um, they offer donations to old smelly people. So maybe we can, um, put the bobblehead on? Or just use it on the nun? We... I feel Billy deserves more than this. Or oh, okay. A much more elaborate use of his head. Oh, maybe we have to make like a full outfit or something. Um, what else do we have in the inventory? Arms, legs, lance, coffee mug, laser pointer, glam metal nun's phone number, toffee. Int eager to know what we're going to do with the toffee as well. We got to do. They said something about organic food, so maybe there's something else. We need from the vending machine, but we need money to get into it. Oh no, we need the Swedish foot bar, foot massage thing, so we need an instant Swede. Um, okay. I wonder what kind of phone. Definitely a lot of, lot of puzzles coming up. As a person, I'm not sure if you can build things out of disappointment. Hmm. Okay. It's an amazing statue. But all I can think about is that it was someone's job to craft some five meter tall skin tight leopard print pants. Would be a tough job. Um, well, we still haven't tried IT support, so let's go check out IT support, I guess. Get some Wi Fi going. All right, 
Um, use uh, so IT support. Activate. All right. <clears throat> oh, this is a part. What? I'm pretty sure I had a nightmare like this once. I had to have a rap battle with Internet Explorer. <laughs> Turns out the dude gets a lot of smack talk from people. So he had practice. Yeah. Totally destroyed me. Ah, yep. Fair call. Yeah. So by that reasoning, Edge is a better better this at rap battles? I die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm from IT. Welcome to the settings room. Oh, hello? I, uh... You look surprised. Well, you know, IT guys are normally... Heck uh, bits. A lot more greasy and awkward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. I can't blame you. Popular culture distorts a lot of reality. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm looking to reset the router. Seems like the Wi-Fi is not working. Oh, really? Well, I'll get right on that. Ah, corrupted employee. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm a walking stereotype. You Welcome certainly to are. Welcome my realm of pain and errors. I'll never reset the router. It's the only thing that makes it look like I do something around here. You'll never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> It's the walk Maybe. out. Uh, all right. I guess we gotta go chase some, some nerds. You gotta beat down the nerds. Please work. No. Nope. Good. Just good. <laughs> we really hope you weren't doing anything important. That would be a shame. Real shame. Who am I kidding? I hope you're doing something important. And forgot to save. Teach you to treat me like trash. Don't ever install a desktop stripper on me again. <laughs> That's awesome. What's wrong with desktop strippers? They were fun. Oh, we're getting a full reboot. There's some BIOS. Not bad, eh? It could be better if you spent a little more money on this. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, another fucking bot. Hang on. Um, What do we got? Ban. Uh, full and... Just... Been getting a lot of uh, follow bots lately. Oh, we're actually in it. Uh, yeah. Oh no, no. The horror. Look at the fucking PS. That wasn't even a PS. No, that was a serial port for mice, wasn't it? Oh. I bet his ball is filthy. Intense. Give me tone it down a bit. Maybe just a passive-aggressive letter will be more applicable to your conflict-avoiding personality. That sounds doable. Now to use my Hexor skills to rally the items. Hecky hecky hecky. <laughs> okay. Dane. Oh, um, Kielbasa OS. Yeah, that is a fucking old mouse. Oh god. I remember, um... I am going to vomit. <laughs> yeah, because we had to use the ones for school and they were filthy. I always had to, like, pop them open and scrape all the gunk off the wheels. Um, Kibasa OS has encountered a fatal error which has caused a system reboot, also affecting its general self-esteem. Please take better care of the OS. It won't be around forever. Would you like to report this to the developers or access the system settings? Can we get on the recycle bin, though? I like your thinking, but that's not how to use it. Oh, it wouldn't let me double click. Okay. It's too high up. You oh. Get the game bugs you want. Can we drag it down? Oh, that that'd be cool if we could drag it. Yeah, just just grotty stuff in there, wasn't there? Um, check the emails, I guess. I can't. It keeps flying away. Oh. Oh, it's got little the arrows are like little wings. Okay. That's different. Yeah, it just flies off. Okay. Um, yeah, give us system settings. Let's see if we can fix this bitch. Uh, post box, door, pen, Jack's special f Oh, we gotta look at Jack's special folder, surely. 
All right, let's see. Contraception and the rubber band collection. Let's go about 10 folders deeper. Oh, nice. A wildly inappropriate erotic novel. The jungle is full of terrors. And handsome anthropomorphic hippo men. Oh, no. And jackpot. A mega bro zapper. I've always wanted one of these. Ooh. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, is it like the old um, Nintendo? Yeah, kind of like the um, old Nintendo zapper. I used to have one of these till I traded it for a John 3000. I've regretted it ever Yeah, since. yeah, that doesn't, time, doesn't seem like a good deal. Good deal. We've, we've all seen what John's about. I saw... Ooh, Doom. Ah, I want to play Doom P. That sounds like a Doom source port. Oh. Um... Box size. Well, lock size does nothing. Um, pen. I have this pen. I need to use it with some. Score. score. I promise you, pen. You'll be the first one I run dry. <laughs> that sounds a little gross, but anyway. Um, there's the door. Post box. Okay. I still get flashbacks from the babushka mailbox. Ah, I forgot I'm about going that. Going to need counseling after this is all done. I'm the angrily worded letter. Oh, first. okay. Yeah, we need everything to get a report together. Um, I need to use. Yeah, hang on. No, I need it for the passive-aggressive letter. We get a writing paper. Okay. I guess there's other stuff we gotta find. So we had folder. <laughs> Look at this. Make bro. sure to reply to all your scam emails. Statistically, one of them has to be real. <laughs> Camping toilets are great alternatives to real toilets. Place it right in your room to save time on travel. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Camping toilets are great. No, 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 no more of you. Um, can we use the zapper? Maybe we can shoot down the mailbox. Um, try that. If only cleaning out your inbox was this fun, you could turn it into an FPS and make a killing on hats and gun skins. Take note, developers. <laughs> that's some mad commentary. <laughs> Yeah, take that mailbox. Right, I guess we can grab it now. Yeah, better take the corpse and hide the evidence. Who knows if there is any email equal rights activists around? <laughs> God, I hope not. Enough people rallying around stupid shit in the world. Um, okay, so we got our. I still need the paper. Yeah, okay. Can we. No. I know she didn't want me to have it. But she might change her mind. Got to delete Newton Facebook and hit the gym. <laughs> um, so we need some paper, I guess. Can we go through this door if we activate it? The guy in the tie one of the game devs? Probably. I if currently it... don't have the dexterity to complete such a feat. I really regret not doing that VHS morning. Yeah, I know it's now. like programmed by like one guy's responsible for it, but I'm guessing there's like it, he probably got like mates rates or something. Got people helping him out. Um, maybe we can reach the bin with our lance. What? Hang on. What came up? Endless. Oh, endless plane. I thought it said endless plane for a second. If you listen closely, you can hear the screams of errors. <laughs> it's a chilling sound. Um, can we do anything with the lock? No, oh, hang on. I'll lock your sight. Oh, okay. So it can be... Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on. No, I, I know what we're doing. So we... Is that locked or unlocked? Hang on. Um... Yeah, because I think if I can grow bigger... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um... Or did I have to stand to get really big? Uh, there's around here somewhere. Seems to be... Can we... It's too high up. Ah, it's still too high Never up. Get the... Okay. 
I don't seem to be changing in size at the moment, am I? Hang on. Um... Doesn't seem like I can get much bigger than this. Oh no, now I can. It looks like I can it's reach it. Too high up. Oh, it's still too high you never up. get the game bugs you want. Okay. Uh, I think this is the next part of the puzzle, though. Um. There we go. That's what I wanted. Let's check out what's inside. Uh, yes. Blank paper. Okay, now we can, we should be able to do our angrily worded letter. A perfect, neat package of passive aggression. Oh, beautiful. Um, a culmination of all my passive aggressive abilities. Oh, and it is finished. Okay. Um, so, post box. And mail this letter. This better work. Jenkuya. Uh, no worries, dude. Hey, it worked. The door is back to normal. Except for this whole static thing, it feels like I'm dying. Hmm, okay. At least get out of the door. Greg, fix that goddamn router. It's been a week. My internet withdrawal symptoms are getting out of hand. I'm getting all sweaty. Do you know how super irritating it is having damp fur all day? <laughs> Funny you say that. I have an incredibly hairy chest. Shut up. Yes, Olaf, sir. And you still haven't fixed Krush's surveillance network. What's going to happen when we execute the final plan? Do you want us to be the next Neo North Korea? <laughs> we just Korea? noted memes yes, rule in Olaf. the background there. Uh, I mean, no, Olaf. Good. Oh, and one last thing. I swear to God... If I catch you posting shit memes of me online again, I will murder you. <laughs> Stupid asshole. Those memes are dank delicious. <laughs> oh, jeez. You escaped my realm of errors already? Yeah, it's pretty much like that sort of vaporwave, synthwave kind of background they usually use. Months. You mean it was just? Oh no, I used it too. It's actually the background of the um, well, man, my uh, emoticon for YouTube. I'm happy to give you some feedback. Thanks, Paradigm. All right. Um, Are you really a wizard? I've always wanted to be one. Uh, any tips? Yeah, you have to make sure you never touch a woman till you're 30. Then you become a real wizard. I'm yeah. almost there. Strange coincidence. Nice. <laughs> well, I was just joshing you. That rumor has been flying around for years on the internet. It's kind of heartbreaking when people finally apply and all they have to do is sign a few forms. To become a wizard? Really? Okay. So, uh... Why didn't you, you know, rat me out to Olaf? For reason one, I needed someone to playtest my escape room. Hard to get good feedback these days, you know. Hmm. Reason two, Olaf's new plan. Olaf's plan is better, replacing Claus's old one. If Olaf manages to execute it, that is. I'd have to set up an international propaganda network. Which means I have to do more than pretend the router is unfixable. I really can't have that. Mm, yeah, I, I see those guys don't like doing work. On with the boys. Oh, fuck off, you anyway, do. Klaus's original plan was yeah, way friends. better than Olaf. Stupid nerd wizard. Camping and fishing? I thought you said you were a living stereotype. I take my escape rooms very seriously. It's all a part of the showmanship. I'm actually quite well adjusted. I have a long-term girlfriend and maintain a healthy social life. Oh. This is actually my real voice. <laughs> Do you know Klaus? How was Klaus's plan different to Olaf's? Yeah, we were pretty good bros. Used to play handball on Wednesdays. 
You see, you were the original key to the plan. Something, something, the ultimate leader. Unite the world and end all conflict, yada, yada, yada. But Olaf was super jelly of you since he was only made to vomit candy bars. Hence the whole wanting to kill you thing. Hmm. Okay. And I just realized telling you some of the plan may have, in fact, ruined yeah, the plan. Yeah, that's usually how so, it works. Uh, I'm hmm. going to leave now so as not to mess things up anymore. What about the whole surveillance thing? Haha, <laughs> well, peace. <laughs> no, no, I don't believe that for a second. Like I just saw that ponytail too. Like, away. someone who walks like that does not have a girlfriend yeah, well, and a healthy social I'm not life. Here and just reset the router. Forget anything I said about Claus's original plan. Anyway. Um, check this dip organizer. Agnieszka P, Occupation General Manager. It's been day 800 inside the glitch world. I think my theory is correct that time passes slower here. All I wanted was to figure out how to install Adobe PDF Reader. But damn, that IT was a trap me in his realm here. I've managed to stay alive by eating browser cookies that I find around the place. I hope to get back to my husband and child soon. When will this nightmare end? <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Routers have caused me much pain and suffering. Same. Same. Alright, let's, let's reset, reset it. this bad boy. Hey, there's some Wi Fi. Beautiful. Nice. Oh wi Fi is working. I can retrieve that head now. Okay. I get? Yeah, there we go. Thank cool. God I can finally leave this glitchy hell. They're beautiful. Alright, um, so let's head to... Where are we going? Head mark. Go get the head. So we haven't got much left to get, do we? We got two arms. We got a head. I don't know if it... Bob's head's the one. No, we need, we're getting the scientist's head now. And just normal leg we can get with the lance and glam metal leg. I know we have to figure out how to get the, um, get the dono money from what's his face. I actually want to have a look through these heads though. Fucking, yeah, old Trenti's Radis. Gold, Jerry Gold. Everything about this head is gold. Gold! Um, I'll come back to you, Reggie. Roby Discong. Oh, no, there's an actual... Uh, there's more than one nerd head. Unexpected Era 312 surplus of generic nerd scientists. Um, maybe you have to get the right head? Or they just randomized? Rigo. At his own request, regular water was replaced with drained pickled cucumber water. Surprisingly, being pickled was not much different to his previous life. Penguin Master. In a former life, he was Lord of All Penguins. Then there was a political penguin uprising. Now he is here. Okay. Uh, Philip the Guy McKinnon. The infamous That Guy was finally captured in 2023. The term, don't be that guy, was finally put to rest that day. No longer guilt tripping people everywhere. <laughs> Kim Wellstrand. Main head and left tumor are quite pleasant. However, right tumor constantly makes up uninteresting anecdotes. Great three for one value. The Undesicator. Oh, it's another booby head. Frogon from Epsilon 3 has taken over individual's head. Overall friendly, but will often attempt to cause riots and, so riots and social upheaval. Yeah, no, that's like the little brain thingies from um, Futurama. Nice. Greg McLean. Reformed ogre bloodlust has been replaced by knitting and community activities and pottery. Uh, Fist Liquizigal. After being abducted by aliens, he was ridiculed for his story. He eventually legally changed his name to a more alien-sounding one, hoping to meet them once again. Okay. Is this just going to randomize? It seems to be... There's a lot of heads. Um, there's a lot of heads in there. Do we have to... I don't know if we can... Well, let's just get a nerd head, and it hopefully might be the right one. Because this looked right to me. This looked like the scientist's head. Now that I think about it... I should probably figure out his name before I start the retrieving. Ah, uh, okay, okay. You can only adopt so many heads. 
Or I could collect a bunch of welfare from 200 kids. Ooh, that's a good plan. Nah. Too much Yeah, paperwork. that actually would be a anyway, lot of paperwork. It's Fair probably enough. written somewhere around the lab. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll go find the guy's name, I suppose. Um, we'll go fast travel back to the lab. Now, actually, let's go and get the... Um, I might actually go and get that leg first. Just to say of... Just so I've got it. Oh, we need coupons to get a cupcake for some reason. I'm sure we need a cupcake for something. Uh, just go get this leg, though. So we sort of... Shit, we're getting on, like, two-hour mark, aren't we? Uh, boop, 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 boop. Go get the leg. Yeah, next exciting thing we do, we might um, call it there. It seems like, it, the show, yeah, we might have a few bit more to do in this game. You can go against the grain and do something positive. Seems significantly longer than your average, um, you know, point and click adventure. Goodbye, fleshy mortal. <laughs> I must go back to my realm. Later, Larry Lancy. I love fantasy magic. Okay. Um, scientist leg unique. <laughs> it's got fucking Diablo stats. That's awesome. Wait. Right, so yeah, we got one leg, two arms, one head. We just need one more leg. We should walk a little faster, Paradigm. I know that little thing on your chest is heavy, but you could probably jog. Um. Right. Yeah, what other stuff can we get in the... We need somewhere banging on the vending machine, I think. Yeah, because we can knock this. Doesn't certain like none none of this other stuff seems um useful to me. Um Okay. We don't do we have anything that could work as a coin? Not really, is there? Um Toffee leg grandma's phone number. Can't unplug it. Haven't really. Can we just bang on it with a leg? Free limbs for everyone. No wait. I... No. Okay. We need those. Um. Billy, the maintenance guy's bubblehead from his shrine. I've always wanted to be a bubblehead. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling we need to use this. Can we just use the head? There's no point putting it on here. Oh, we can just use it from the inventory. Okay, okay. All right, we'll go to the church. And we'll just put the head on. Uh, that was the church. And that'll probably get us some uh, money. I feel like I should be sneakier than this. Yeah, go, go on the so, confessional. Using a confession box to take donation money? I feel like my moral compass is getting worse the more I progress. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. So now we talk to Grandma. Sorry, sir. You don't qualify as a real homeless person. Oh, what? I can't give you any donations. You're just a poser. Let me take these, uh... Maybe we can use these offerings on ourselves. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. That's oh, it's, it's no whiskey cologne. Okay, um, maybe have some space dust too. If the space cadet has taught me anything, it's to fire your taxes ASAP. Or oh, hello, Beans. It off. Here's the boy. Or, uh, you know, not you come for a plump, mate. Addiction. Yeah, all right. Maybe that was enough. Maybe we just had the smell of whiskey. Oh, you poor. Soul. Oh, that was all we needed to do. Okay. <laughs> Take some donations immediately. Yeah, sweet. All right, we got some money. We got oh one coin. All right, so we'll go back to the vending machine. I Beautiful. Better take this off before I leave. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Um. I uh, use use coin on slot. Error. Ah. Oh. Um. The only other thing we can get the. This could be useful sometime later. Tree hey, seeds. I okay. Like collecting stuff for future quests. Huh. 
So we do need to bang this, I suppose. Ooh, it's a little loose. Maybe I can pick it up. Ah. Damn it. Just out of my reach. He's good for nothing muted arms. <laughs> Maybe we can grab it with an arm? Hang on. Aha! There we go. I can get to it, but it's still not coming off. Ah. Uh. Let me out of your hand. You could have belonged to a scientist that dabbled in radioactive spiders, mm. but no, you had to come from a regular scientist with no <laughs> spidery powers. Okay, um, so I think we need to put some toffee on that arm. There we go, we got a toffee arm. Thank Beautiful. you, science, for allowing me to have a Swedish human without the messiness of natural reproduction. Wouldn't mind re reproducing with some Swedes, though. They're, they're pretty hot. Um, right, let's have this a look. This is actually pretty cool. All you need to do is shake and drop and the instant Swedish person is ready. Oh, okay. Um, alright, we'll go back to the church. Get the old, get our leggy boy a massage. Alright, inventory. Scientist leg. Would an instant Swedish person compacted into box form do the trick? I'm sure they can offer a Swedish massage. You know what? That's extremely insensitive. But you are correct. 80% of Swedish people know the age-old techniques of Swedish massage. <laughs> Let's Did check out the goods. Okay. I... I wasn't sure what I was expecting. <sighs> Whatever. I've had enough of this glam metal thing. Oh, fair enough. Animal prints don't suit me anyway. Go ahead and pick me up. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah. Beautiful. All right, so we'll go back to the lab and figure out the name of the um, scientist. <clears throat> so eager to know um, where to find that information. Bonsai in there. Bonsai trees are like the little people of the tree world. Okay. Um, oh, we get some more um, conversations. Okay. What's up with your cat? Uh, cats? Sorry. I'm not sure how to address two headed beings. They're my telepathic cat advisors. Being a rebel leader is pretty hard and they help a lot. Also, aside from their advice on guerrilla warfare and espionage, I like giving them pats. Yeah. Good boys always want pats. Hey, uh,. Do you know the name of the scientist guy? I don't know, man. I can't even remember the name of my sister's boyfriend. He is permanently called Man. Anyway, it's probably written down somewhere in this room. Oh, well, you're not helpful. <laughs> Would you like to be my romantic love interest? Uh, sorry, Paradigm. I already have a boyfriend. Here, look at this photo. <laughs> Just surprise me one day with a professional shoe. It's just a giant burrito. Gifts are always so thoughtful. <laughs> um, okay. Can you tell me more about the text? Pretty self-explanatory. We are people against generally shitty things. Oh, that's all. Fair enough. I've got this. <laughs> this is a really funny story. Sure. Let's I'd like love to that giant burrito too. Not gonna lie. <laughs> well, this is the true. funniest thing. Me and my friend <laughs> went to the post office, and they. <laughs> it's so funny, <laughs> and like, <laughs> my friend is being all funny and stuff. <laughs> this uh, story. Was yeah, you're getting a you're getting a funny hair sort of around here paradigm. Yeah. Mhm. Mm anyway, I've got to go feed my dog. Okay. <laughs> I did love that we left on that awkward conversation, though. Um, oh, it might be on these coffee mugs. Hang on. Copious amount of coffee, coffee mugs. Coffee mugs are the most abused of all mugs. They need the union or something. Hmm. Fight for your rights, mugs. Actually, I'll hit this lever again, because I don't know what it actually opened. It was something in the I power station like area. I I'm going to regret this. <laughs> Yeah, did nothing. Well, that was severely underwhelming. 
Okay. Um, oh, post-it notes. So many post-it notes, and all of them say, buy more post-it notes to look more organized ASAP. <laughs> Signed, Reginald Yepertsov Torso. Ah, uh, there we go. Must be that Torso's name. Yeah, so it was Reginald. Okay. All right, back to uh, Head Mart. Go grab his head. Um, use terminal. Right, let's see if we can find you, Reggie. I'm pretty sure it was the one I clicked on, too. Um, yep. Gold, Jerry Gold. Reginald. There he is. Yeah, it was the one I clicked on. Anyway, go get that head for me, buddy. Fantastic. Couldn't it put it in a jar for me or something? Oh well. You're mine now, head. Oh wait, uh, hang on. I best use the shopping bag to make sure no one thinks I stole anything. <laughs> Good plan. Fair enough. Nice. Oh, we can actually talk to... Hang on, who we got in the heads? Simon Nelson, John Bros, Rachel Weller, Alex... Who the fuck's Big D? Hello, head. Oh, just say hello. Oh, these, maybe these are like, um, thingo, devs or other, um, yeah, probably devs. I can't remember if this got, um, kickstarted or not. Oh, no, we could have just fast traveled to the bloody lab, couldn't we? Oh, well. Yep, still in a hot spot for that glory hole. A little disappointed. Uh, labs. Activate. Oh, that was pretty, like... We didn't really get stuck on anything. I probably would have gotten stuck on the um, the code for the elevator, but yeah, no, you swooped in with that shit anchor. That was good stuff. All right, um, let's go insert some limbs into the thing. Mr. Meaton says, "Well done." He won't be passive aggressively pushing stuff off your table. Oh, I wish he would though. This shit is, this shit's I'm adorable. Give you an honorary membership to Ronnie does that to me all the time. I got like my tablet sitting on my thing. Knocks it off if he's hungry. Oh, oh, we get a cupcake. Anyway, I'll go get the machine started. You just press the yellow button. Here goes nothing. Engage determination face. Uh. Kawaii paradigm. Hey, multiverse method destroying failsafe. That was Voltron reference. Pits. That's awesome. Pits. Four fashionable legs. Fashionable legs. <laughs> Four arms. That's awesome. It hits below average hit. <laughs> It was pretty weird. Oh. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! Stop! Or ask him how to defeat Olaf. Quick, just in case he dies. Yep, I don't plan. want to die! Who said anything about dying? How do I defeat Olaf? Oh, there was a Monkey Island I'm reference in the other lines. From the multidimensional plan. I'm all messed up. You don't want to know where my genitals are. <laughs> no, no, I don't. The guy kept telling me dead jokes. It was the worst. And now you're asking me all these heavy questions, man. Bad vibes. Hey, I met that guy as well. I feel your pain. Oh, <laughs> right. Hmm. I guess Olaf is a dick anyway. I don't actually know. But I do know where you can get some juicy goss that will go viral on the net, destroying his public image. I'll cast the clear. Are we gonna defeat him with like spicy I'll dank be some memes? Oh dear. Hmm. Could I use the ghost to construct? Oh, I forgot that. I could have asked him where his genitals were. Him in a red <laughs> That's a pretty good idea, actually. But yes, I think there is a more effective way. Tobo Genetics has a space station which they went hatches on with a local pickled cucumber company. Okay. It's actually amazing how much power they hold over Eastern and Western Europe now. Anyway, Tobo Genetics holds all their sensitive documents there, including Olaf's genetic file. 
All you need to do is insert this floppy into the main computer and voice activate it with the password. I don't know what to say. Oh shit, <laughs> is it recording? <laughs> I'll take it from there. Please don't tell me I need to use the teleporter again. Don't worry. It was originally designed for this station so that we could figure out why the operator went out of radio contact. Then, to save some of that cash money. Uh, <laughs> only downside really is the 1000% of your daily radiation in techniques. You should be fine though. Press the yellow button three times and you'll be good to go. Okay. Well, that's um, probably as good a time as any to um, finish up because we're at, yeah, just over two and a half hours. But god damn, that was fun. That was legitimately fun. I just. I have been thoroughly enjoying this game. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death, Death Sandals.